culture takes diverse forms across time and space. This diversity is embodied in the uniqueness and plurality of the identities of the groups and societies making up humankind. As a source of exchange, innovation and creativity, cultural diversity is as necessary for humankind as biodiversity is for nature. In this sense, it is the common heritage of humanity and should be recognized and affirmed for the benefit of present and future generations. La defensa de la diversidad cultural es un imperativo ético, inseparable del respeto de la dignidad de la persona humana. Она подразумевает обязательство уважать права человека и основные свободы, особенно права лиц, принадлежащих меньшинствам, и права коренных народов. لذلك لا بد من صون التراث بمختلف أشكاله وإحيائه ونقله إلى الأجيال القادمة كشاهد على تجارب الإنسان وطموحاته وذلك لتغذية الإبداع بكل تنوعه والحفز على قيام حوار حقيقي بين الثقافات Face au déséquilibre que présentent actuellement les flux et les échanges des biens culturels à l'échelle mondiale, il faut renforcer la coopération et la solidarité internationale destinées à permettre à tous les pays, en particulier aux pays en développement et aux pays en transition, de mettre en place des industries culturelles viables et compétitives sur les plans national et international. Every society has a soul. Um, a, a soul needs more than just uh, food and substance to, to live. And it is art that feeds that soul. A society without artistic expression can very quickly become a society without freedom of expression, without freedom of thought. So a society without art really runs the risk of being a society that is not able to see itself, that is not able to see neither its strength, but most importantly, its weaknesses and its foibles. El arte forma, y de cierta forma deforma también, a la humanidad. Formar la humanidad es tratar de darle unos contornos que sean armónicos. Para mí eso es el arte, es darle un sentido a nuestra existencia en esta tierra. El deformarlo no es negativo, en el sentido que deformarlo significa permitirnos cuestionarnos. We first experience beauty through our five senses. Yet, it is more magnificent when it leads us to something a bit more transcendental, when it gives us a glimpse of something bigger that we are. In the middle of our busy, everyday lives full of worries, beauty serves to enchant. And this is exactly why we must strive, all of us, to create spaces in our lives, in our communities, to encounter beauty, whether through nature or through art. We must have the chance to be able to things autrement. It is important that là puisse être parmi nous au quotidien dans notre environnement dans notre vie c'est une manière d'apprécier la vie autrement art and culture are the technology virtually of connections it connects you to other people's mind it opens other people's hearts
but the work that we're doing actually gives us the privilege to see how important ACT is, not only in South Africa, but in Africa as a whole. And for us, beyond the social aspects and, and how it brings us together as a people and defines us, gives us identity, um, it's important also to really start to see how art is changing people's lives and, and giving people hope, um, you know, putting food in, in people's mouths who didn't have food. And when we look for us, we work in the music industry. And when you look at what music is doing for, for the young kids in the, in the ghettos and the townships, and how it is bringing us all together and make us celebrate you know, our cultures, um, you really start to, to see the value of art. It's always exciting for us, especially as the Music Life Foundation, to see how collaboration and mixing and matching things bring people together. Without that, then I think we would be in a very difficult space as a society. It's the glue that puts everyone together. Diversity of cultural expressions for me um, is is very similar to diversity in um, in the natural world. Um, cultural expressions each uh, contain in them a vision of the world, a perspective of the world, and it's very dangerous to have just a single uh, perspective of the world. Uh, just like it's very dangerous to have your farms only growing cotton. Sooner or later, um, nature will fight back and remind you that there's need for a uh, balance. La diversidad tiene que ver con eh, permitir entender el mundo de todas las maneras posibles. Es decir, no solamente aceptar las diferencias como una como un aporte a la humanidad, a la paz, a la construcción de, de, de solidaridad en este mundo, sino como una forma de representación de toda esa maravilla que ha producido el hombre o que la naturaleza nos entrega. Y eso es la diversidad en todo su aspecto. Some group of people in this bag of diversity have been ignored for long. And I think the time has come for the world to realize that there is that pool of talent, knowledge, that has been ignored for the wrong reasons. So diversity would play a role to bring these people back to fold. So everybody wins. In each country, there are at least 100 ways to speak, 100 languages. In each country, there are 200 ways to dress. Dans chaque pays, il y a 200 valeurs, 300 de faire la cuisine, de s'aimer, de montrer la beauté. I don't think there has ever been a human society in the in the world that has not made art, whether it's music, whether it's singing, whether it's what we consider artisanal art, whether it's basket weaving. And I actually don't know if we would be humans if we didn't make art. It is important to de, de soutenir uh, la culture and à respectant, tu vois, chaque identité et les identités de l'un et de l'autre. Parce que c'est vrai qu'on a tendance vraiment à occidentaliser le monde, mais il faut qu'il y ait des fonds comme, par exemple, le Fonds international pour la diversité culturelle, qui soit disponible pour au moins aider à garder des identités, à garder des cultures vivantes aujourd'hui et aujourd'hui dans le monde. One of the challenges in this whole area is that if you lose uh, cultural expressions, um, <clears throat> you, you lose cultural livelihoods, it's very, very difficult, if not impossible, to get them back. Um, so therefore, it's vital that we support uh, cultural expressions and uh, cultural diversity wherever we find it, um, and uh, whether we're rich or poor in all parts of the world.
A world without cultural diversity, so um, that means um, a world in which uh, some people do not have the, the space, the ability to express their cultures, um, for me would be a, a, a world um, with a new form of inequality. Arts and culture are among the most vulnerable sectors of the global economy today. The continuing invisibility of cultural work as labor and of cultural workers as legitimate parts of society's labor force is worrying. When is it that an artist gets sick pay? Never. Yeah? What, what about a pension? What about all the things that we have become to accept in most societies that uh, social support systems, somehow they don't apply to artists? I think a big deal for a lot of musicians and artists is finding a way to to be able to do what you do. Um, it's an expensive exercise. It is perceived, you know, as not something that is profitable, as not as not a real job. Um, so I think those challenges around access to funds, access to bigger markets, access to expand your footprint is really, really quite a challenge. Ya mungkin uh, kebebasan ini yang uh, tadi saya sebut sebagai kebebasan seorang seniman untuk berkarya tanpa bergantung sama orang lain bisa dikatakan bahwa ketika seniman ini bisa kemudian menghidupi dirinya sendiri melalui karyanya gitu secara independen maka dia juga punya kebebas uh, dia juga terbebas dari ketergantungan uh, pemilik modal gitu bisa dibayangkan ketika sebagai seorang seniman uh, kita hanya mengerjakan karya-karya yang bentuknya pesanan atau kita kemudian sangat tergantung dengan apa namanya klien kita maka kita tidak punya kebebasan untuk mengekspresikan diri kita secara penuh. Kalau banyak orang kita mendengar bahwa perbedaan itu harus menguatkan, kamu harus berpikir bagaimana caranya menguatkan karena perbedaan itu adalah hal yang tidak bisa diubah tetapi dia bisa dibuat menjadi sumber yang memperluas pengetahuan kita pada banyak hal dan um, membangun kesadaran kita pada diri kita sendiri bahwa kita tidak sendiri. Por un lado, tú tienes al individuo como tal, al individuo como parte de una comunidad, tienes a los poderes y autoridades locales, tienes las organizaciones culturales que son las que deberían asegurar el acceso, o por lo menos la oportunidad de acceso a esos bienes y servicios culturales donde se expresa esa diversidad, y finalmente los gobiernos. Los gobiernos tienen que tener una responsabilidad de asegurar que en los medios de comunicación haya diversidad, que en los medios de distribución de bienes culturales haya diversidad, que es los espacios culturales permita esa diversidad. The International Fund for Cultural Diversity for me is a fantastic instrument that accompanies the UNESCO 2005 convention. Um, that puts funds at the disposal of uh, governments, uh, public institutions, and NGOs who are working in this in this um, often neglected policy field of um, trying to create the the, the conditions in which um, artistic work uh, can take place and artistic work can get to audiences. It is a critical tool through which we can enable structural change whether this is in the form of new policies by governments to advance arts and culture, or programs that strengthen local cultural organizations and networks. And the impact of the IFCD funding on the revenue streams for African Music Project was, it allowed us to do what we had to do and what we'd envisioned to do. It made a huge difference because now, at the end of that, we've come up with something that's tangible and usable and is free and accessible on our platforms that artists can then have access to. 
everyone must be able to participate in every art they want to because it's a human right to learn and it's a human right to express yourself in your own way. Art is not only about drawing or about singing. It's about expressing emotions and expressing thoughts. And if I did not have art, I would be very alone in my own thoughts. And I want that people can share their art so that they do not have to feel alone. I think that music is a very essential art form for human beings. It gives joy and can even be healing to many people. It can help them see the world with hope. I practice, travel and perform most of my life. So I have to live a very disciplined life and that's not always easy. But somehow music seems to have a sense of a mission to make this a better world. So when I was a kid, I read a lot of poetry. So I read this beautiful poetry, which was by 15th century Persian poem, Jami, which says, each tinted fragment sparkles in the sun, a thousand colors, but the light is one. <laughs> 